In a harsh wilderness of modern-day Canada, a battered wolverine fights against the odds, leaving a trail of blood as he desperately seeks safety. The relentless predator has become his pursuer, completely reversing the roles. And Wolverine is acutely aware that he is now hunted. With agility and precision, Wolverine skillfully avoids the predator's deadly energy blast and manages to scramble up a treacherous cliff. The tension escalates as the predator reveals itself by deactivating its camouflage, hovering just above Wolverine. Now let's rewind to 20th century Alaska, where a younger Wolverine emerges from the icy deaths, scavenging for clothing to fend off the bone-chilling cold. He takes refuge in a cave alongside grizzly bears. Elsewhere, a spacecraft lands and the predator exits the ship, preparing for its hunt, armed with a weapon salvaged from a fallen comrade. In a serene small town, anticipation fills the air as Wolverine seeks refuge in a dimly lit bar. The bartender, familiar with Wolverine's notorious reputation, engages in conversation with the mysterious stranger who recognizes the mutant's potential for a covert mission. The mysterious man offers to pay for Wolverine's drinks, and in the midst of this, violence suddenly erupts as two menacing individuals demand Wolverine's prized possessions. The bar morphs into an improvised battleground, with Wolverine wielding bottles and chair legs as lethal weapons, expertly thwarting the threats. Beyond the bar's doors, the man who had earlier extended his generosity by buying Wolverine's drinks pleads for his assistance. His son has been abducted, setting the stage for a new mission. Meanwhile, deep in the wilderness, the predator, armed with advanced technology, employs its weapons to hunt unsuspecting animals. Concealed by its camouflage, the predator moves towards the small town, aware of Wolverine's presence. As Wolverine delves deeper into the man's plight, we meet Tucker, a once prosperous prospector, whose son has fallen victim to ruthless rivals turned kidnappers. As they made the way to the kidnappers' location, Wolverine senses trouble on their journey. Startled horses sense danger bolting leaving Wolverine and Tucker to stumble upon a gruesome sight, skinless animals tethered to trees. Tucker reveals that this was the gruesome work of the kidnappers, further fueling Wolverine's anger as he had a soft spot for the animals. Arriving at the kidnappers' hideout, Tucker urges Wolverine to show no mercy to these men. So Wolverine bursts into the house, launching a relentless attack and demanding the boys' whereabouts. Suddenly, a shot is fired from behind, striking Wolverine. Tucker enters the scene, revealing the painful truth. There was no kidnapped boy. Instead, there was treacherous former employees who had stolen from him. With the men dispatched, Tucker reclaims his stolen wealth and prepares to leave. But at that moment, energy blasts strike, and the predator emerges, echoing Tucker's earlier words about monsters and murderers. The ensuing battle is a symphony of brutality, with Wolverine clashing against the predator. Each blow is detailed, from the slashing of claws to the removal of the predator's mask, revealing its fearsome visage. The Arctic becomes the arena for a desperate race, with the predator relentlessly pursuing Wolverine. As Wolverine struggles to avoid further attacks, he gazes into the masked face of the predator. Just as the predator moves in for what seems to be the final strike, an unexpected turn of events unfolds. A bear unleashed by the wild, attacks the predator, clawing and dragging it into a nearby cave. Believing he has emerged victorious, Wolverine departs leaving the scene. However, the shocking truth comes to light as a predator emerges from the cave, proudly displaying the bloody head of the bear as a grotesque trophy. Years later, an older mind wife Wolverine finds itself in South America with Team X. A palpable sense of unease hangs in the air, as Wolverine and Sabretooth detect a disturbance. Their mission takes an unforeseen turn as one of their team members is caught in a net. And not one, but three predators in total materialize, deactivating their camouflage. 